Hey Taurus, how are you guys? I hope you're all well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the second half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed regardless if you are cross-watching or not for somebody else. And yeah, if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Okay, so to start off your reading, we have Ascending and we have Lessons. Okay, so there's a lot. There's a lot that you have probably already going, gone through. Um, possibly also for the person that you are involved with. It feels like, you know, whatever your situation is, whatever difficulties have presented themselves, it was for the purpose of ascending and moving you forward. And this is how we ascend, right? It happens through learning lessons and having these experiences. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on between you and this other person. Let me just put these up here. Okay, so let's see. For the situation, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by the Two of Pentacles. Whew, okay, so there's um, a lot of contemplation in terms of either moving in a particular direction or in terms of just communication. Um, so if you're not in communication, this is somebody juggling between um, communicating or not communicating, moving in this direction or not moving in this direction. Um, it could be that it feels a little bit overwhelming um, for them, okay? And th again, this might be you or it might be them. We'll see. So for the recent past, we have the Two of Cups, okay? So this is that, yes, you know, there is a love connection here between the two of you. There is feelings on both sides. And it does feel like, you know, at some point in the past, there was a connection between the two of you where you both felt this. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So, okay, um, it feels like you're pretty grounded, or at least you're moving in that direction. Um, I feel like you, what you're actually doing here is you're opening up this new path that has to do with your own self and how you feel about your own self. So that would be um, more specifically in terms of your sense of self-worth and just really taking this new path where you are taking care of yourself more and more and more. And I feel like, you know, that is part of the lesson here. And that is also a result of the ascending or the ascending is also the result of you taking care of your own self. Let's see for the other person here, we have the seven of wands and the two of wands. Okay, so interesting, we have two pentacles for you as an earth sign and then we have two wands cards for the other person. So some of you might be dealing with a fire sign. So that would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, just calling out something that is um, standing out to me. So this person is holding back. Um, I feel like what they're doing actually, because okay, see, we, we have the two of pentacles here and here we have the two of wands and it's kind of like a similar energy and especially together with the seven of wands, this is a person who is holding back from taking some kind of an action that they would want to take, all right? With the two of wands, there is like this thinking aspect to it where this person is thinking about something that they would want to do, but they're holding back and I feel like they're holding back because they're trying to protect themselves. Let's see um, what is coming up for you. We have a judgment. Okay, so that's a major, major energy here. This can also talk about ascension for sure. So I feel like basically, you know, you, taking care of yourself and taking this new path where you are focusing more on you, that's also helping you to make more accurate discernments and making decisions that are more in alignment with your highest good. Let's see, for the other person, we have the Empress. Okay, so we'll see. Um, but it feels like, you know, they're they're heading in, that, in a similar kind of a direction, all right? And this could even be in terms of you. Um, but I'm seeing this more of, you know, them rather than being so protective of their own self, like embracing, you know, whatever it is that they are trying to 
protect. So embracing, you know, whether it is a fear or whether it is, you know, their feelings, whatever that is. We'll see because we will clarify. So let's let's get into clarifying. Let's see. So for the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Okay, interesting. Two kings here. So there's definitely a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotions. But there's also a lot of, okay, let me think this through very, very rationally. And so it feels like, you know, what someone is juggling here with is, and this could be you, but it could be the other person. Um, it might even be the both of you. It's like kind of juggling between, okay, what do I feel? But what do I think is logical? What, what does my heart want me to do? Or, you know, what are my thoughts telling me to do? Or what, what seems to be more rational? Um, trying to be level-headed, so that is actually what is preventing communication or action from taking place, and I feel like, you know, whoever this is, it's like kind of like they're torn, torn between the two, like not really knowing what, what it is that they should that they should do here. Let me see the Two of Cups for the recent past. The Magician and the Seven of Wands again. I don't know what, exactly what it is that happened here, but um, the, the, the only information that I'm getting is that somebody blocked this out. Somebody blocked this out because they were trying to manifest something. And I feel like, I, I don't know what that is, but there was definitely love here. Somebody was trying to manifest something either in their lives or bring, bring about something. And so, and, and then that just kind of led to a situation unfolding where it then needed to be blocked. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm also getting that one of the reasons why there's this lack of action is also because somebody feels like they're, they're either not ready or that they just don't have what it takes in order to bring about this, this love, this connection. And so there's a lot of protecting, protecting their own self. Which I do see that as being the other person um, because they're the ones who have that seven of wands. But let's see, let's, let's see what's happening now. Let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles in your energy. The Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> so you're moving in a path, and again, it feels, it feels kind of new. Like, I mean, we have two Aces here. So it really feels like this is a new path for you where, you know, you have either discovered some kind of a truth or you're just coming more and more into alignment with what it is that you truly want. So it does feel like, you know, even in terms of love or where it is that you want to give your love or who you want to receive love from, again, it's like you're, you're more and more, you're becoming more and more discerning in terms of, okay, where do I want to give my love? And who do I want to receive love from? What kind of love do I want to receive? What kind of behavior do I want to engage with? It's all of that. And all of that, again, it's stemming from you just really deciding to take better care of yourself. And because of that, like, it's almost like, you know, you, you then... Um, expect to be better taken care of by others and so that's what you are attracting and also you you that means that you're not accepting anything less than that let's see the queen of pentacles the two of wands which is also in the other person's energy and the seven of cups so this is still a work in progress um 
this is still a work in progress and I feel like really like the only thing that's kind of holding you back could be your own doubts like your own hesitations as to how much it is that you should be expecting from another person or how much it is that you should be expecting you know for yourself from a love connection and you know wondering possibly whether you are asking for too much and the answer is no you are not asking for too much because i see you moving in the right direction here and you know it can be a little bit confusing especially when you're not used to taking care of yourself in this way so it can feel a little bit strange or awkward at first but that this is what you're being encouraged to keep on doing, to keep thinking about yourself and what it is that you deserve and to be nurturing to yourself, you know, nurture yourself the way that you would nurture someone else that you love. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with this other person. For some of you, this might even revolve around waiting or this might even revolve around um, <clears throat> some sort of procrastination, you know, trying to weigh out options, whether that is whether that means you waiting for them um, to weigh out options or, you know, which is something you would not want to do. And I feel like that's what you're recognizing now or whether it is that you were doing that. And then coming to terms with, yeah, OK, what is it that I truly want? Okay, so let's see the Seven of Wands for the other person. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the fact that this person is having their guard up and, you know, feeling like they need to protect themselves, it's, um, it's not making them too happy. Um, it's actually creating a lot of stress and anxiety for them. Um, it, this is definitely a defense mechanism with the Seven of Swords also showing up here because it's like this person feels like they're actually avoiding something that they would want to do or something that they would want to say. And it actually creates a lot of stress for them and even pain. So they're not having a good time by doing this. Let's see the two of wands. The ten of cups and the ace of wands. All right. Yeah, I mean, they're... I don't know why. I mean, maybe they have legitimate reasons. Um, I don't know. I can't see that. But whatever the case, though, yeah, they're not happy by by having this guard up, by having this wall of protection up. Because what they're actually thinking here and what they're looking towards is having this Ten of Cups with you, having some kind of a, um, a reconnecting, right? Reigniting the whole, the whole connection with you. And I feel like this person is actually wanting this to be a, a forever, you know, ha forever, happily ever after kind of a thing. But there is this, holding back for now again because they're trying to protect themselves from something which maybe you know what that is um i don't know because i kind of feel like you know you're also you know kind of holding back from this person in some way let's see let's see what the both of you are moving towards because let's see judgment we have the Fool and the Knight of Wands, which is for you. I feel like, you know, you're going through a major transformation here. That's what this is all leading up to. And this is actually going to kind of happen, I feel, very abruptly, very unexpectedly, very suddenly, where you just suddenly make some kind of a decision or you come to some kind of a conclusion or you um just make a huge discernment like a huge huge realization which pretty much puts you on a new path and the new path doesn't necessarily mean without this person it also doesn't necessarily mean with this person it's just a new path it's something doing something a lot differently than before which again it can only lead to something positive because of the fact that this new path has is coming from you 
increasing your sense of self-worth, which can only bring positive things, you know. Um, making that discernment of what it is that you are willing to accept from other people or what it is that you want or what it is even that you're willing to accept from your own behaviors and your own choices. Right? It's like you're learning all of these lessons throughout whatever it is that has been building up here. So that's actually really positive for you, Taurus. Okay, so let's see the Empress for the other person. The Lovers, all right, so Gemini energy and the King of Pentacles. Ooh, yeah, definitely it looks positive for this person as well. So I'm happy to see this because I feel like the fire signs were a little bit more heavy, a little just more like, okay, things still need to kind of um, feel a little heavy before they get better. But for you, I'm seeing that things are actually moving in a very, very positive direction. All right, this person is also coming um, closer to embracing their own emotions um, their own sense of stability, what it is that they want to offer, and really like, you know, I mean, the lovers. Stepping fully into this energy of love, particularly for you in this connection. I feel like this person, yeah, I mean, they're just here. They're like, okay, you know, bring it on. <laughs> And so it, it might even be, you know, that they were kind of waiting for you or maybe, you know, you were waiting for them for something there because they were protecting themselves. I don't see that here with the Empress. The Empress doesn't need to protect herself because she's just, you know, so abundant and so sure of herself. And yeah, definitely moving in that direction, okay, towards the end of this month for you. All right, Taurus, that is it. I'm leaving it at that. And I thank you so much for watching. Much love.